Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. How to video time. We are going to be installing this two terabyte Samsung spin point hard drive into this Acer Aspire E15 laptop computer. I've previously reviewed this computer and a link to that review will be in the video description below. But in short, for $550, this is one of the nicest laptops on the market. Intel i5 processor, it's very fast. Uh, processor. It has a dedicated GeForce uh, graphics card. It's an entry-level card. It's not a high-end gaming machine, but it will play some games. 256 gigabyte solid-state drive. I love it. 8 gigabytes of RAM. Full HD, 1080p, 15-inch screen for $550. I honestly believe you can't do any better than this laptop today, at least in July of 2016 when I'm filming this. Now, in order to install this hard drive, we have to flip the laptop over. Now it comes with a solid state drive and that's good. However, 256 gigabytes is not always enough. Sometimes you might want more space. If you want more space, this is how we do it. On the bottom of the laptop, you have got this outline. This is the access port that gives you access to the machine. Ignore all these other screws. If you take them apart, you'll have a collection of parts instead of a laptop. You will need a number one Phillips head screwdriver. You can get these at any hardware store for a couple of dollars. I bought mine because it has a magnetic bit is as part of a kit for about $25 off of Amazon, which I will also link below. It comes with like eight different screwdrivers for different computers. Since I do so many different computer videos, I wanted a full kit. It has pliers and tweezers and a bunch of other um, handy parts. So all you do is these three screw holes that are inside the outline to the access port. We are going to, well, it doesn't catch it from that side. It is magnetic, but it's quite weak. There we go. It helps pull the screws out. If you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, no worries. When you unscrew these, you would just have to turn the machine over for them to fall out. Now, the panel is unscrewed, but it's still latched in. They provide you with a tab here that you need to actually put your fingernail in, and it literally just pops straight out. Inside here, you have access to three things. Your system RAM, which I have already upgraded and shown. I'll, do, I'll link that in the video description below. This is the eight gigabytes of RAM the system comes with. Here is the eight additional gigabytes that I have already added, so there's now 16 gigabytes of RAM. Here is the 256 gigabyte solid state uh, storage. This is upgradable. There's just one screw here, pops out, comes out, no worries. So you can in the future upgrade it, but I think for this laptop, that's all most people need. And this is our empty storage bay. This will be by far the easiest hard drive I've ever shown on this channel. Many of them come with drive cages and multiple screws and all kinds of mess. You don't need anything. You take your drive. Now it can be a hard drive or it can be a solid state drive. It doesn't matter. Just any two and a half inch notebook drive. Uh, one terabyte, two terabyte SSD, take your pick. On the end of the drive, you will see multiple connectors. This is the power connector. This is the data connector. And that is diagnostic stuff for the manufacturer. You don't have to worry about that. The connector for the drive is right here. And it's actually designed to be mounted like this. It's upside down when we're looking at it, but this is the bottom of the machine. It'll be right side up when it's sitting in, when, when the computer is turned upright. This connector tab here is going to slide in there. We just gently set it down into the space using our finger and we slide it forward and it slides right into the notch. Let me slide that back and slide it in again just so you can see. Just working it out gently. There we go. I am not using a lot of pressure here. This is just very gentle pressures. So the drive is currently just sitting, lying flat in here. It's not attached to anything. When we slide it into place, it needs just a bit of help. There we go. Just use our finger, slide it in. When all the gold has disappeared, when it's fully in, you're set. Now, you might think, wait a minute, don't I have to screw the drive in? Well, here's what they've done. On the reverse side of the cover plate, they've put plastic tabs here and two shorter plastic tabs here. They will fit into this gap and hold this in place so it doesn't move. At this point, all we have to do is put our tabs into the front of the machine on the bottom of the tray here. And push this down into place. Those plastic tabs are here now holding the hard drive in place. 
That is one of the easiest hard drive installations I have ever seen. Now at this point, you of course want to make sure that you screw your three screws back into place. At this point, the hard drive is installed and the system will recognize it. However, most new hard drives do not come pre-partitioned and formatted. So while Windows knows it's there, there will be no drive letter associated with it. Normally, your C drive uh, will be your solid state drive. Because this has a DVD drive, that will be D. And then normally your uh, hard drive would then, or extra solid state drive would be set up as E. Uh, that would be the default. You could, of course, pick a different letter. But when you turn this computer on, it won't actually give you a drive letter. What you will need to do is when you boot up to Windows, press the Start menu, open up the Windows, um, it'll open up the Start, press the Start key on the keyboard, which will open up uh, the Start menu, type in Computer Management. In Computer Management, look on the left-hand side, and it's going to say Disk Manager. Click Disk Manager. It'll show you all your drives. It should show you the solid state drive, the hard drive we just installed, as well. Um, it won't show the DVD drive, but it actually might show a blank space for the memory card reader. Each machine's a bit different. I haven't done this machine yet. Um, I, will, um, I will mention that when I do the first boot and Windows update. Now, all you have to do is to uh, right click on the empty hard drive that you installed and create new volume. Simple. It'll default to take the full size of the drive. It'll auto assign a drive letter. It'll format it for you, and you're done. It really is pretty straightforward. So, was this helpful to you? Give it a like. Was it not? That's okay, too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It'll be right down there, the big, huge red button. I certainly appreciate it. If you've already subscribed, thank you. More how-to guides, unboxings, performance reviews, gaming videos, and all kinds of cool tech-related stuff. Now, questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go below the video below. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, do you like this? Do you want to see more? Do you want to see less? Was this enough information? Uh, you got to tell me what you're thinking because I cannot read your mind. Finally, as I say in all of my videos, I did not get this laptop or this drive or anything else I review for free. I buy everything I review with my own money. Um, if you want to support my channel, I would certainly appreciate it. Use the links in the video description below. This computer, the RAM I had installed, this hard drive will all be linked to both Amazon and Newegg. Those are affiliate links. They do pay me a small commission, but it doesn't change your price in any way. But it is how I um, can afford to keep doing this. So if you want to support me and help me out, that's the best way to do it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.